Let's see what we get from this sacred shard. Come on now, it's a legendary. Let's go. And an extra champion. Who are we grabbing? We have unlocked our first ever legendary champion side of Raid Shadow Legends. And no, it was not from pulling shards. It was from the events going on inside of the game right now so that we all can get ourselves a free legendary. And it's Rathalos Blade Master. We have built him out to be a damage dealing beast. I'm gonna take you through exactly how I built him today according to the guidelines so that we made sure that he was effective in battle. Now I am pretty excited to have gotten my first legendary. He's gonna be part of a lot of what I do here and a lot of what goes on within the clan. And that's gonna be happening today because we need to take him over to the tavern and we have some skills that need to be upgraded, which are going to help out in the clan wars going on right now because I believe that if we look at the clan events right now, clan versus clan, we are not in the winning position. We need to change that. But if you want to follow me on my Raid Shadow Legends journey about all of the free-to-play stuff that we're doing here in the account, make sure you subscribe. And if you're brand new to Raid Shadow Legends, have either never played before, or if you're a player that's just coming back after taking a few weeks off, I have a link in the description of this video. And there's no better time than now to play, because if you play now, you can get yourself two free legendaries, Rathalos is one of them, and two free epics from using my link in the description. Plus, it supports me. So thank you guys, I appreciate it. So first things first, because it's a matter of time, we need to get things going back in our guardian ring. Sure thing, yes, let's do it. And we need to make sure that there is nothing worth purchasing here in the market. And there is nothing, nothing worth purchasing. I will unlock these additional spots when something is there worth me purchasing. We are loaded, we're stacked on gems, a thousand gems. Woo, chit ching let's go, we are loaded. But what I do wanna do is do some stuff for the clan versus clan. So we're gonna go over to the tavern right here. I'm gonna upgrade my skills and check it out. One, two, three, four legendary skill tomes. We would like to get up, well, some of his skills. Let's go and do the upgrade right now. 12,000 points right there. We got spirit thrust up to level two. We got spirit step slash up to level four, which is actually nice because spirit step slash I believe is the one that is gonna do mass damage. Attacks one enemy every second use of this skill in a round will attack all enemies instead. Well, there you go. And then we get the plus 10 damage. So nice boost we have right there on him. Now we've already made him a part of my clan boss team and we did pretty well today. If we take a look at what we did here on normal, we came in with 5.6 million damage. Notice, he is still level one. We haven't ranked him at all, nothing. Absolutely nada. But he's still gonna be doing okay for us in that position. Now, something that we have been working on is the tournament that's currently going on. The Ice Golem tournament. There's only 20 hours left and I am a ways away. I'm finding it difficult. I'm not getting the artifacts that I need to really progress. now. It's gonna be hard to get to 1,650. So what I may do is set it up so that it utilizes gems when I run out of energy to just go back into more battles and keep participating. Because we wanna get the fragments so we can unlock the new champion. But at the same time, we have things that we have never done, like the Doom Tower. And when I was speaking to Ash in our collaboration video on Monday, I know you saw it, right? You watched the darn video, didn't you? Hope you did, a lot of people did. My most popular video yet, probably because Ash's handsome mug is on the thumbnail. Either way, it was a great video. Uh, we have right here, Doom Tower. I've never done this. I have never done it before. So let's go in here and do it. All right, we're gonna go with some speed. I don't know if this is exactly how we should be building the team, but we're gonna build it out this way anyways, right? Uh, we wanna go with Kale, no, we wanna go with Kale down here. Rathalos in the back, and we need one more. Do we go with Armature? I don't think we go with Armature over here. I think we go here instead. Let's try this out. We've got a bunch of these keys. We've never done this, never. Let's see how it looks. Let's see how it's built. And I very well could be doing this improperly. All right, we got all of our speed boosts. I didn't set up our team synergy and when they use what they have to use either. So we'll have to see 
because I don't even know what to expect here. All right, we're on one time speed. Let's speed things up a little bit. All right. This is all cool. It's actually quite different looking. And I hear there's some pretty nice rewards that we can get as we progress up the tower. But it looks like we are, I mean, look at me. I got level 40s up in here versus their level 123s. This just doesn't look like a, a good matchup for me. The speed boost either, I don't know if that's exactly what we want. That speed, I don't know if it's gonna be too beneficial for us along the way. Now it's just up to Geomancer and Kale. Let's see what they can, I wish I still had Rathalos in there, my damage dealer. We got the burn, boom. Only burn on one though. Oh God, oh geez, Kale, oh, come on. Well, that didn't go very well at all. Do I switch up the team? Or is my team just leveled way too low? Yeah, let's go to edit team. Let's go with Kale as leader. This isn't how I set them up with speed though. So I think I'd actually be getting brutally demolished by this as well. I'm gonna try it though. We're gonna try and get a little bit of our defense in there also. I don't think this is going to work. I really don't. We, we pulled out the speed element because I'm not sure that speed actually matters here. Gis card being in now is gonna take a lot of the damage that's being dealt against us. So it could keep us alive, even our Rathalos, to the final round, which could be huge for us. See, he's he's taking a lot of... Okay, Rathalos is still up. Who, who did we just lose? Tyrell. Oh no. Oh jeez. All right, we still have Kale up and Geomancer. Okay, at least we're going to the final round now with three and we have a defensive champ. We got the burn on them as well. This card's doing what he's supposed to do. He actually did a decent job there. I do want to show you, oh, don't take him down. Oh. Why didn't I heal? I had no healing happening there. Okay, this is close. Oh, but all my big damage is gone. We do have an HP burn. We, we took, it's two on two. This is gonna be close. This is, they got the burn on them now, no, which is beautiful. We are, we're actually gonna pull in the win that way. Thank you, Giscard. Giscard definitely assisted in that. We're gonna go back to my champions. Let's talk about how we geared this guy up. I went with a perception piece. Now, I only have one piece of perception. I can't wait to get the other one because it's gonna give us more accuracy and speed. Note, we have no accuracy here. We don't need any accuracy. If you watch the video, accuracy is not important. We went with crit rate, crit damage. We went a, a little lower on speed than I'd like and attack. We went a lot in on attack right there. So we went with a legendary weapon with attack, attack, crit rate, speed, damage. We had some decent rolls too, uh, crit rate 15%. We also came in with a cruel, not the set, just one piece, HP, good amount of HP, attack 4%, speed, we got the double on, and crit rate, two, we got two upgrades on that for a 12%. That worked out pretty well. Now keep in mind, I just geared all my champions. So the gear I was working with was a little bit sparse. I didn't have as much as I really wanted because there just wasn't a ton. Then we came in with the cruel shield. We got defense, we got crit rate times two for 11%, crit damage and accuracy, which again, the accuracy was not any focus. We did go and bring these gloves, these gauntlets up to level 16. It had the crit rate, 40%. We have some speed. We got the crit damage to 8%. We needed to get our crit rate. We wanted to get it over 100, which we did. If you take a look here, you can see our total stats. We got our crit rate over 100. We got it to 101. That's not even using any mastery. So we were able to accomplish that together. And when I say we, I'm talking about Burnt NPC. He's been helping me out a lot with my build. So much thanks for that. We got the cursed chest plate coming in with attack 33%, crit rate 5%. We didn't need the, the res. And we got some speed on it as well. We got some speed boots at 22, crit damage 8%, attack 23, and crit rate 3%. And then I just threw a ring on there, the Banner Lords, because uh, why? That is a ring, right? Is it a ring? Yeah, it's a ring. So maybe it could, it could be a crown. These guys don't wear crowns. 
All right, so it's the ring, HP 4% because we had nothing better. So I just kind of threw that on for the time being. And that's how he sits. That's where he is. And that's really what we're trying to work with here. Now, I haven't done any masteries. We've just upgraded some of his skills and also his aura attack uh, increases ally attack in dungeons by 30 percent so we should actually take that to a dungeon and test it out why don't we take it over to the ice golem dungeon for the ice golem tournament and see how that looks now when we take a look here this is my dungeon team right but what if i wanted to take out someone what if i wanted to take out let's say tyrell and if i wanted to put in rathalos this is dangerous but we'll see what it does. We're doing it on a super raid as well. Let's see how he does here. This is actually good. We, we need to rank him up anyways, because we've done no ranking for him. So at least it'll get a little bit of rank into him as well. He does hit hard. He is a damage dealer and he does deal a lot of damage, but he doesn't have as much defense or any of that stuff that we'd really love. Let's see here. We're gonna get him to the final stage. That's gonna work out nice. Now, I'm, I don't think I'm going with my preset. So all of the presets that I had for when they utilize the proper skills in what order at what time is not set right now. We did get an HP burn though on the Ice Golem. Let's see what we could do right now. Hey, Rathalos did go with a big strike on him. Now it's Kale's turn to disintegrate. I wanna keep the turn meter down. Okay, Rathalos is out of commission. There we go. We're, we're going to be fine, I think. It's not working as effectively as the other build just because we don't have their skills set up in the proper orders. All right. We got him We got him just about down now. Does he still have the HP burn on him? I think he does. Oh, there goes. Oh, what? Wow. So now if we edit team and if we go back to our regular team setup right here, watch how we smoke this. Watch. We're going back to our normal team. Oh, man. This is actually really bad. Let's look at the team set up and see how we have things set. Notice High Katoon. She's not utilizing in round one, Rally the Horde. In round two, she's using it as her primary, her opener in round three versus the boss. Kale, Disintegrate. It's his first in round three. He's not, he's actually, do we have him using it? I guess he could use it anywhere, but round three, that's when he must use it. Quicksand Grasp, the burn, that's being turned off in round one and round two. Tyrell, Singing Steel, round one and round two. It's often it's our first in round three. And then Armager is whatever he wants to do. The guy's a boss. But I don't understand here why we've lost this, right? Like, let's go back over here. We've beaten it before. Like, a bunch of times. Why would I have not beaten it this time? Let's try again. We need to get something big on this uh, Ice Golem. Shut him out and really just say goodnight. There we go. See, that's more like it. But why was it so different from the prior turn? It may be tough for me to, to pull up in this tournament because we only had out of those three runs, only two were super raids, my losses. One was not a super raid. We're still at 586, haven't even gotten to 600. We gotta get to 1650. I don't think I have enough gems to get me there. We are doing the, the arena takedown though, which is probably where we should focus because the arena takedown is something that's been a lot easier for me. This is our arena team. This is our team set up right here. You could take a look. We, sh we switched when would be used when or what skills would be used when. And we've really been cleaning up nicely in the arena. The, I mean, people obviously have things set up here just to get through them and just to easily set up where you're going to place in the arenas for this tournament itself. But I, let's, let's go through a bunch and let's see how much I can progress on that leaderboard because we want to make our way. We got the Monkey King right here. We could take these guys down though. Remember, we got so much speed here. We are almost always going to go first and then we can nuke them with Kale when we're going first. They don't even have the opportunity. So fives, fours, we got this. Another easy win right here. We can get the speed, boom, there's Kale with the nuke. Like that's literally how this is going. Another easy one here. Someone just set up some food to uh, make it so they could go against easier enemies i guess i have the same thing set up on my defense what right here 40 daily quest complete 15 we should be good to go we're sitting at 46,000, and we're built out nicely by the way not just trash built good she was taken down as well boo yeah there we go uh-oh 
Maybe not. Okay, maybe. Oh no, they got the burn on me. Wow, we did. Our team is solid. At least we're doing something here. I feel like I've been getting the, the Doom Tower crushed me, the Golem crushed me. Today feels rough. So I needed to pull in a couple of wins like that to make me feel a little bit better about the squad that we had built. See, we jumped pretty good. Look at that, 107. We're just right there right now. This one is gonna be so much easier for me to capture, but it's only five fragments, right? And I've only got five so far. The Ice Golem Tournament though, also only gives me five fragments and it's gonna take me all of my gems plus some probably to get there. I'm wondering if I shouldn't even be focused on that. But I also want to go back to campaign and we really want to start making sure that we can get War Maiden. It's going to be stage four. I still have yet to get her. We were doing this with food as well. Uh, let's pull him out. Let's put Rathalos in and this could also come out. We'll go th throw a little more food. And by the way, we got a lot of rares. We're going to be using some of our rares as food pretty soon, guys. I don't think we need to keep all the rares that we have. I think we got a lot of trash ones. And now that we've got a, a pretty solid team built that does a good job for us, we're gonna we're gonna use some rares as food to help our progression a little bit. Let's go see what champions we could upgrade here. Let's go to the tavern. Boom. What what twos do we have to see? Look at all those rares. Look at all those. Oh, I actually want to go here. Only upgradable. There we go. So we got a two right there. We could use as food. Boom. We'll upgrade that. Welcome. Thank you. Nice to have you. And we got two more. Wapang. Wapang upgraded so those are up to three the goal and the grind right now is we're, we're trying to get geomancer up we need five five star champions though we have zero so we need to start grinding up all of this food now i guess i could probably do it with a bunch of the rares that aren't really good we could have a bunch of them at four stars already at that point but i think the only champions that i'm going to hold on to are rares that are worth it rares that are good and all my epics i think that's where we sit as of right now now the good thing about doing the golem event is we could double dip on the dungeon divers event as well and we can get some of these fragments too but again at the same time 3750 is a task to get through it takes quite a bit to get there so let's see when can we get into another arena battle those are actually really fun because i win i like to win now all we have to do is summon three champions can we even do that I know we, we're running a little low on space. Let's see if we have enough space to just summon three. All right, there's one. Obviously, these are all going to be trash. I'm still holding on to my uh, better shards for the right time. Now is not the right time to do that. So we're not gonna. Let's actually take a look. All right, beautiful. We got that complete. We, there's only pro events too. What, what? Summon a legendary champion to get a different extra one as a bonus. Wait. Can I get two legendary champions? Summon any legendary champion to get a different extra one as a bonus? This sounds like a good idea. This sounds like something I should do right now. If I get one, it's not giving me better odds of getting one, but if I do get one, I get a second, let's do it. Let's get our first summon. Now we've done this once before and we got an epic from the Sacred Shard. It felt bad, man. Will it happen this time? Let's see what we get from this Sacred Shard. Come on now, it's a legendary. Let's go. 60,000 tournament points and an extra champion. Who are we grabbing? I don't even know if they're great, but I do know that I'm stoked to have just unlocked two legendary champions from one shard. That completely worked in my favor. Apparently, Tyrant is a pretty good champion, scored at four overall. So this is cool. He's gonna be really good for clan boss. Plus, this is the type of champion that I like the look of. The guy looks demonic. It's awesome. We also got ourselves Mother Cybele. Let's see what she looks like. All right, she's ranked at a 3.5, so not as good, but still. Two legendaries, one shard, that's awesome. Let's go into it again. Let's see if we could do the same thing. Uh, no, an epic this time. That's fine, though. We picked up Neldor. Wonder if he's any good. And we have one more summon available. Let's go ahead. Can we get another two legendaries right here? It's another epic, but we can't feel bad about it. This one actually looks really cool. Wonder if they are any, you know, it would be great if I knew all these champions and if they were good. There's no way though, when there's like 700 plus. Apparently she's pretty good at 
clan boss, getting a 3.5 overall. So decent, not a bad one to have, a defense-based champion. I think today was a win. And we're gonna be getting our summons done for the day. We can get those extra 10 gems. We got a bunch of tournament rewards too. And we also are gonna grab some more energy. Plus, I wanna take things over to the arena. Can we get into another battle? Are we ready? We are. We should be fine right here. Another quick battle, quick attack. Oh, they're coming in with a bunch of other champions that I'm holding right there. But will we shut them down? Almost. No, they did get the recall though, but not for long as Kale thunders down from above. We're gonna go take the easy ones. I don't think I have a lot of tokens left. So hopefully the number of tokens that I have in my pocket are enough to get me towards the final stage to get everything that we need to be successful in this. Here's another one we should be able to have no problem with. Essentially, we're able to take down people that are a lot stronger than us just because of how quickly we strike and getting Kale to rain down from above before they could even attack. That's what's been shutting everything down. We'll come on here with an easy one as well. Let's go. There's the speed. There's the reduced turn meter. We'll shut all that down as well. Worked out perfectly. Do we have any more arena tokens? We are out right now. So that's going to be it. Let's see if we were able to progress far enough. Oh my God, we're going to be right. We're going to be right there, aren't we? How close is it going to be? Classic arena. 210 we need we have 204 oh my god i mean we'll get there we have 17 hours left how do i get myself some more tokens do i have anything in my bag right here oh we got some arena tokens right here we're gonna collect them let's go back let's get back into that we gotta finish this here today their defense is set but their defense is nothing compared to what we have going on wait did i just get it we got some something complete we'll go check that out in a moment we're gonna go through a few more of these right now though they do have a six star Kale here, a lot of AOE and a healer, not the best healer. Let's see how we could go. We're gonna get our strikes in first, which is gonna be very strong. All right, I think, I think that we have what we need right now. Let's go back and see, there's the tournament. We're gonna be pulling in the shards right now, claiming the reward, another five. And where do I sit? I'm, I'm, wow, I'm all the way down to 35. We're getting no rewards for that, but we did get the shard not the shard the fragment that we needed because now we have 10. i don't know oh look we're starting to crack her face open a little bit there i see i see how this works is he cracked oh yeah he's a little cracked too they cracked a little bit a little tiny bit cracked well zingor is the grind there's 135 fragments you can attain i don't think i'm gonna get all of them here we go here we're gonna grab another shard as well looks like this we're gonna be getting another ancient let's grab that put that in as well we'll claim five more gems here also now as we sit here we're sitting on seven ancient shards four voids and well that's it because we used our sacreds today let's get a final look at the new champions that just joined us today we have tyrant who's awesome looking and we have mother sabelle and of course, our first ever legendary champion, Rathalos. It's pretty crazy that today was the first day we had any legendary champions and we got three all in the same video. Ah, who would have thought? Follow me on the journey if you want to see more crazy stuff and me learning everything as I go. And I think the next focus really needs to be on how the heck do we take down this Doom Tower?